G'day. Um, Going to do another song today. It's called Hell Is a Place. Uh, wrote, it, wrote it quite a few years ago. Hope you like it. You have to excuse my voice a bit. I'm still getting over whooping cough at the moment. Uh, so I've had that for a while. I'm feeling pretty good now, but it still affects my voice and things like that. So um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you like this. Hell is a place. <laughs> song um, if there's any atheists and you know just regular people who aren't Christians watching this um, if you've hardened your heart towards God and, and things to do with 
with Jesus, things to do with the church, mainly because of maybe some rubbish Christians who are, you know, don't treat people very nicely or whatever, or cheat or lie or, you know, whatever, hypocrites basically. If you've been put off by that or or it just doesn't make sense to you, just understand this, that um, the gospel, spiritual things, um, they're not understood by, even though we can talk about, you know, reason and talk about things uh, in logical senses and things like that, if, if we can, you know, we can, we can do all those things, but you're never going to, your life is never going to change, you're never going to understand spiritual truth just by using the powers of, um, what am I trying to say here? Well, I'm just trying to say that if you try and work everything out so that you know the answers to everything, like, oh, you know, where do babies go if they die, or what came, you know, what about dinosaurs and all these different things. Faith is something, you know, the, the, the Word says, uh, you know, God says in His Word, you will find me when you search for me with all of your heart. And when it happens, you know something powerful has happened and it's not something that you have caused to happen through your own power of reasoning or, you know, justifying various things that you've, you know, information and things. You can have all the information in the world, but the truth is faith comes by hearing the word. We know that, but you need to... You just need to seek after him with all your heart. You really do. Because when, when, that, when that penny drops, and you get it, and all of a sudden, you see all your sin and you're exposed, and Jesus just becomes so precious to you, there's just nothing more powerful than that. And... It's just something that you, you're willing to give your life away for. And <laughs> and it's not a sacrifice either. Even though, well, it is a sacrifice, but it doesn't feel like it's cost you anything. If I can put it that way. Um, so, <clears throat> if you heard this song, and you're thinking, hey, if hell really does exist, why is it there? Because it, it does exist. You know, I can't prove it to you. I can't go there and take some photographs and bring it back. Even if I could, would you believe me? You probably wouldn't. It wouldn't make any difference. See, even... even uh, there's a parable um, about a rich man um, that Jesus told a rich man and, and Lazarus, a poor man, uh, they both died and they both went to Hades. And Hades is split in two on one side You've got those who were who were faithful to God, and on the other side, you've got those who were enemies of God. And rich and the rich man, he he was in that flame of torment, and he called out to Lazarus, who was on the other side, who was in paradise, and he asked him to come dip his you know his finger in water and put it in his tongue. It was so bad, and then he told him, you know, please go back and tell my brothers and. And Abraham, who was with Lazarus in paradise, said, it doesn't matter if you go back. It doesn't even matter if you go back and tell him everything that you've seen here. And, and, you know, even if you go back from the dead, if they don't believe the prophets, if they don't believe the word of God, they won't believe you. So I guess what I'm saying is, if you're an atheist, if you're an evolutionist, there are so many... Com- convincing arguments out there that will help you feel good about your life without God. But all I'm doing is I'm just asking you to just consider deserting that just for a while, just to search this out. See if God is real on a spiritual level because He is, I know He is. I've experienced Him. And it changes your life. You, you can't go back. If you've really been changed, if you've really been met by the Lord, you will not be, you won't be the same.